Hey YouTube, this is Chris with Kerbal Space Program. Now this is the interstellar sandbox that I've been working on. And what my goal here was to make a SSTO jet using the fusion rocket and, you know, fusion reactor from interstellar space mods. So a little, little creativity and some... Uh, prayers and we will make an SSTO jet. Now the fusion rocket is actually a pretty cool thing. It's got um, it's got a good thrust to weight ratio, good ISP, very good ISP and um, I was able to turn this uh, jet into a you know single stage to orbit uh, no problem took a little bit of uh, a couple design changes um, but here is Here's the, the beginning of the design, and, and I think for the most part it stayed the same. Now, I, I recorded this probably uh, no, November or December of 2013, so uh, it's been a while. I don't remember exactly what I was doing, uh, what my thought process was, but as you can see, if you've been playing uh, Kerbal Space Program, you kind of recognize the parts. There's a, uh, a, f a fusion, or, sorry, a nuclear reactor. There's um, the command cockpit that's from B9 Aerospace and also there's a radiator there's a electric generator that's connected to the nuclear reactor and there's the um, the fusion jet at the end uh, and in fact that's actually not the fusion jet that's a thermal jet and I believe I switch over to the fusion uh, rocket but I'll have to as I see things being built I will call them out. Now, uh, those things right there I'm putting on are, are the radiators. Um, these are small radial uh, heat dissipators. Instead of the f unfolding ones that look like uh, red solar panels, I, I use these. These don't unfold. This is how it works. And if you don't have any kind of heat dissipation on this, it really won't even work. I don't even think that you can take off. I think it shuts down the reactor within a couple seconds of uh, loading the physics. So you need these on there. And these probably aren't even enough. Um, however, when you're on the surface or in the atmosphere, the heat is easy. It's easier to dissipate the heat because you have um, the atmosphere to, to transfer all that energy. If you're out in the vacuum of space, there's no transfer of energy through the molecules of of atmosphere so uh, it'll overheat faster but uh, you know we're talking a nuclear reactor which pumps out insane amounts of heat and how they usually work is you'll have uh, control fuel rods and then you'll have con graphite control rods and as you uh, insert the control rods the slows down the reaction and trust me I'm going from high school uh, <laughs> high school uh, education here that was uh, let's see over 10 years ago but uh, yeah so what happens is the reaction the chain reaction in the nuclear reactor uh, heats up some kind of uh, coolant which cycles through um, uh, it cycles through like a radiator and that heats water into steam and then the steam turns a turbine and that turbine turns a generator, which creates electricity. And that is the most grossest basic breakdown of how a nuclear reactor works uh, without getting in too much into the whole uranium and plutonium and, and why those two fuels are made into fuel rods and all that good stuff. But uh, as far as KSP, I don't know how that uh, really translates, but you have the reactor and then you have a generator that connects to it. And those, you know, that creates electricity throughout the craft. So uh, you use that electricity to probably power this thermal jet. Now, um, I'm going to forward it a little bit because this is just kind of me slowly building it. And um, it's probably kind of taxing to your patience. And it's at this time that I actually put the fusion rocket onto the end of the aircraft. And um, there is a mod on there, and then you can see that red uh, circular or oval arrow with the green and pointed. Uh, well, that's 
that's something it's an add-on and I can't think of what the name of it is now but it tells you the center of mass and uh, you can see it's center of mass empty and center of mass uh, full so it's kind of a cool thing but we're gonna go ahead and launch this craft and I hate launching at night because sometimes you guys can't see exactly what I see it seems like um, Fraps makes it a little bit more difficult to see uh, it makes it a little darker but anyway we've got this uh, fusion rocket jet ready to go and uh, you can see the ISP is pretty high and the thruster weight's not too bad so we're gonna go ahead and launch and then we will uh, you know maneuver our way through the atmosphere I did do a little editing because uh, apparently I had five or six instances where the uh, jet had crashed and uh, I kind of wanted to cut that out but it looks like I've lost control here and crashed into the ground but after that I I think I've got it under control and uh, I just want to show you that it's not always uh, working right away it does take some patience and some multiple attempts now I've got this rocket set up or this jet set up as kind of like a rocket um, I've got the launch control uh, well, those launch stabilizers there, and you know the intent there is to give us enough space between the ground and allow us to to get some lift under those wings, and that we can take off. Now uh, there is a creative use of wings and control surfaces there, but it all does uh, finally work out for me. It was just kind of a a labor of love really I just wanted to I kept have having to tweak it like I said there was probably five or six launches uh, in between here that uh, I just fine-tuned the rocket or the jet uh, until I got it right and we are ready to launch and you can see that the fusion engine actually produces enough lift or enough um, thrust the weight to get us going and it's not really a, a, a light craft those uh that nuclear reactor and, and some of the other parts they actually take up a lot of well they actually weigh a lot so to get it to to go is kind of cool it's mostly right now a rocket uh there's very little use for the control surfaces right now the wings aren't really providing too much lift i mean we are now not at a vertical we're kind of uh, maybe at a I don't know, maybe a 80 degree or 70 degree angle, uh, probably closer to 55 or 60 now, and uh, we're moving on up to the east side. Just kidding, I've been drinking, so I decided to sing. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to make it uh, into orbit with this design, and it is a single stage to orbit design. What was probably... I gotta say this is probably my first one that actually worked and this this uh, craft is actually still in space uh, in this game in this save uh, I haven't decided what to do with it yet it does still have a bunch of uh, fuel left I don't remember what I had for RCS fuel because obviously that's probably the majority of the control with a, with an object like this where it's not uh, radial or, or just like a long cylinder it's actually got uh, mass out from the center of the cylinder um, so it's not just a rocket it's it's basically a space plane and and that's pretty much what it is we're just gonna keep our vertical ascent and kind of maneuver into an orbit and uh it's actually it handles pretty well it's not a big deal to to get us into a circular orbit and uh, I was kinda surprised I didn't think it was gonna happen I've had zero luck with valid designs for SSTO and now obviously throwing a, a fusion engine onto the end of a plane is not I mean yeah it works in in Kerbal Space Program but th this wouldn't happen in real life I mean it's not aerodynamic as you can see it its base it tapers down to a point but it's actually bigger in diameter than the parts it's connected to so I, that would that would cause all sorts of crazy drag issues uh, structurally sound it probably is not and uh, all right so here we are just gonna fix our orbit and we're gonna you know get this thing in a, a stable 
parking orbit. We can do what we wish with it uh, at a later time. Um, I th think I still have uh, life support installed, so they won't be out there too long before we have to do something. I don't even know if I put life support or additional life support on this. I can't tell by the uh, screen. I'm looking at a screen that's about 5 inches by 3 inches, and uh, I can't tell, but, um, you know, they, they that capsule or that command... Uh, cockpit probably only has three days or three Kerbal days of food uh, and water and oxygen so I'll, they'll probably be dead by the time I go back there um, but I really haven't done anything in between this either I I, uh, I threw up one satellite around the moon for uh, Keithane exploration and that obviously will only take about a day or so uh, or less because it was kind of a small rocket. But, all right, well, that's it for that. And it is a single-stage takeoff fusion-powered jet plane. Uh, and that is from Interstellar Mod. So like, subscribe, comment, and check out my other videos.